Hello, my name is Will Strauss and I'm a Principal Analytics Consultant and Sigma Expert with PH Data. In this next installment of our Sigma Made Simple series, I will be talking about scheduling ex exports from your Sigma workbooks. Here's a workbook I've been playing with. This is a data set included in your Sigma sample data sets called SF Restaurants. These are health code violations by particular restaurants and violation type. And I played around with a couple different distribution views here. Now, as a business user, I wanna set up a series of alerts and exports to send out to my health inspectors all over, I'm gonna guess that San Francisco. So I can set up a particular view by clicking these little three dots in the top right that opens up your full menu. I can export and then schedule an export. I can select a few different levels of information here. Here's another place that sometimes you'll go to set up an export is right next to your title. Click on this little drop down carrot, schedule exports, brings up the same menu, but this one shows if there's any existing ones. And look, I tested one out before just to make sure that this worked. I'm gonna set up a new one. So we're gonna use a schedule name here. Um, this is the same that I had in here before. I'm just gonna fill out some of this information real quick. I can send these out to e email. If I really, if you're a Slack shop and you wanna send out a, uh, a Slack notification to a specific channel or as a message, or you could save this information to a Google Drive depending on how uh, your organization is notified. But let's just set this up here. We'll call this test V2. I'm gonna send this to my colleague, Katrina. The subject is going to be test two. The email body, we'll just talk, paste something in there. Again, you could put as much or as little information to these as you want. We can set the attachment up as the entire workbook, an entire page, or again, a specific data element like a table, a pivot table, or a data visualization, either on a schedule or based on conditions. We'll get into that. To set up the cadence, very simple, day, week, month, custom schedulization. Uh, if you wanna send these out based on a fiscal calendar or a certain time of year, very easy to set up that information. I do have a top end filter. Maybe we put some date controls or other uh, control elements in this workbook. If you designed your workbook that way, you can preset the filters to send out an export of just a particular series of information based on criteria. If you didn't add any controls and then maybe it's just a table in your workbook, no problem. We can always send out that table. We can only send out the table if there is data in a data is or is not in a particular field or we can set up a series of conditions. Here, I just wanna look at uh, on page one, violation types, and I wanna set it so that if the risk category is equal to high risk, that this notification gets sent out. Anytime that there is a new high risk violation, I want everybody to know about it, or in this case, particularly Katrina. If I'm unsure, say I set up five or six different conditions, and I'm not sure whether or not that's contained in my data, I can test it right here just to make sure I'm not gonna be sending out an empty report. Now that all this, all the required information is filled out, all I have to do is click create schedule. And now we have a brand new schedule and new cadence of information to be sent out to our field by email, by uh, Slack, or through a uh, Google Drive notification. It really is that easy. Now remember, you can follow our hashtag Sigma Made Simple series on LinkedIn. That way you're notified of our new when our newest daily video is uh, released. And thank you again so much from us here at PH Data and Sigma Computing's premier partner. And we can't wait to see you all at Summit. Thank you.